because you're very close to your mom. Have you always very. been close to your mom? Um, my mom and I got, I think you get closest to your mom okay. when you get married. Ah. Especially girls. Right. Like my daughter and I now. Not that we've not always been close, but I have a grandson. You know, so it brings you closer. Yeah. But now, having been born in England mm. for the longest time, I have to say that I came back to Nigeria when I was seven. Mm. For the first, for those four years, my mom was working in Lagos. Mm. She was working. Ah. And I went to live with my grandmother in Undo. Okay, oh, right. So those were some of my formative years, which at times I'm thinking I would have wanted to have spent more time with my mom, mm -hmm. but I was with my grandmother. Mm -hmm. But having spent time with my grandmother opened me up to certain opportunities mm -hmm. that I would be forever grateful for. Mm -hmm. As we Yoruba people say, yes, the, wisdom of the, the wisdom of the old. And that's one thing that my grandmother did. Mm -hmm. But my mom and I are very, very close. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my mom would tell me stories about when we were in England, mm. before we came back to Nigeria, yeah. that she, when she would go off to school, she would drop me with my nanny for the week. She would have to come and pick me up. She said, she, even in that London, she would put me on her back and, you know, with, with all her ashore keys and things like that. So when your mother tells you those kind of stories and the fights that they have fought for you all your life, you cannot not be close to them. Mm. But I'm happy that I've had the opportunity to be close to my mom, mm. to my grandmother, mm -hmm. to my sisters, mm. to my children. Mm. You know, relationships are the things that keep us going. Yeah. And when I look at my life today at 57, that is, that is what has sustained me. Because when you're on a journey, there are things that you could have crashed. Mm. Mm. You, you could have crashed. But... People are there to lift you up. Mm. There are people there to lift you down. Oh, don't get me wrong. <laughs> At every point in time that you are rising, there are those that are like, hell no. Yeah. Why her? Yeah. Why her? Because you do the work. Do the work mm. and you will get the results. Get the... Let anybody think what they want. Abby, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. those that know you, know, know you. You. Yes. you know me. Those that are around me know me. Mm -hmm. Anyone that is talking doesn't know me. Mm -hmm. And that's very okay. Mm. Get on with it. See, the thing is also don't lose focus because these things can be distracting. And I'm way too busy. Ask Tolu. There was somebody that decided a few weeks ago to come and say all kinds of rubbish. Mm. And the next day, we were already working. <laughs> and I, I was like, no, this is a typical situation. I'm, I'm saying to Tolu, please, where is that letter? And somebody's coming. I said, Mo, are you okay? I said, of course I'm okay. People are calling me as if there was... Something some, serious happened. I'm okay, guys. Mm. I am really okay. Yes, it can be painful. Mm. And one reason why it's painful is because of the young girls that look up to me. Yes. I don't want the young girls that look up to me to think that this is what I have done. Mm. And if they do, then I worry about them. Because how do you do the work we have done by supposedly, you know, yeah. some of the things? I won't even hum humor yeah, them. I, don't by want saying, to, I don't want to yes, say the things. Say, you know. so, it's like, so it's like, so, okay, so this person, what? This person slept with Will Smith. What are you talking yeah, about? So, you know, Netflix and so, you know, and the thing is that some of my partners yeah. have called in the last few days and said, oh my goodness, what's going on there? <laughs> I really thought that Nigerians were a little bit more, mm. I said, no, it's okay. It's not all Nigerians that it's are like not, that. Yeah. I said, because I am now defending Nigeria because they're on my behalf are saying, oh, good goodness, Mo. Mm. You know, we, you know. <sighs> Does it make sense? They said it doesn't add up. We had one of our partners visit recently mm -hmm. and they were like, my goodness, even if it was true, mm -hmm. we don't care. <laughs> of course we, we don't we care. We just get on, just, just give us our projects. For them, it is about the results. Wow. You mentioned about banks. Yeah? Yes. But the thing people always say, people always, there's a, debt gets a bad rap. Oh, you know, oh, he's owing so many banks. Oh, she's owing so many mm -hmm. banks, you yes. know. What is that? What what is what what is that feedback about when you hear it? And what's your perspective I, on that? I don't have a feedback on that. I mean, if I'm in the bank, I'm when they need to pray for me to be alive to pay them back. <laughs> they should be calling me every morning and saying, "No, Mrs. Abudu, are you okay today? Are you okay today? Because you are owing me." And I'm like, "I'm fine. Yes. I know I'm owing you. Don't yes. worry, it's coming." And they need to invest in your success. Exactly. So that anybody wins. Exactly. Right. So I, I think you know, um, I'm not afraid of debt. Mm. I'm not afraid of growth. Right. You know, if I can make a good business case and you're happy to lend me the money, I'll take it. 
I'll do whatever it is. I can't make sure that I pay you back. Mm. I'm still here now. I might not. <laughs> so we're still, every still month, everybody gets, I hope everybody gets paid, right? You guys get your salaries and things, right? <laughs> the diesel is still running, you know, the bank have not come and closed me down yet. Mm. So we're still, you know, it's, 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 you keep having a conversation with them mm. and things aren't always going to be rosy. There could be sometimes when you're due and you, and, and you haven't paid back that month or whatever the case may be, you have a conversation and say, this is coming. You're planning, you're working on it. Everyone does it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why sometimes as business owners, we mm -hmm. think that, as I said earlier, that everything, you have all the cash you need. Mm -hmm. If you have all the cash you need to run your business, then I don't know. Maybe the vision isn't big enough. The vision is not big enough. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I've heard that. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining our YouTube channel. I know, I hope um, you loved that video and you connected with it. Don't forget, please subscribe. Please like. Please share with your friends and family. Please comment. We love to see your comments and to see the full versions. Join our community right now or past episodes on watch.withtoday.com. Let's be human together.